if you ever wanted to create your own videos but thought it was too complicated or too expensive i got you it might not be as tedious as you think watch this tutorial till the end because i'm about to show you how to make professional looking videos completely free using canva hey i'm abby from queens of vibes i've been able to create and edit all my videos and graphics by myself and sometimes i get questions about how i put my content together and i'm always happy to share so i decided to create this tutorial to show you step by step exactly how you can start creating your own videos too this time i'll be using canva the free version i love showing you simple ways to make professional content even if you're just getting started in this Canva tutorial, I'll walk you through how to make a clean, eye-catching video from adding your clips and text to transitions and the scripts and to uploading music and a voiceover. By adding the simple edits, you can elevate your faceless motivational videos or even your own PowerPoint presentations. And don't worry, if you're a beginner, I'll walk you through every step. So grab your laptop or your phone, open Canva, and let's create your first professional video together let's go okay so we're going to start off by opening canva everything i'll be showing you today can be done on the free version so if you've downloaded the free version just follow along with your laptop or your mobile phone to start off, we're going to click this plus create sign over here and we're going to be selecting video landscape. But just before we do, I'm going to show you different options that are, have, they have available just in case you prefer a mobile device upload. If you scroll over here, you can see all the options of sizes. If you prefer mobile device upload, this is what you'll click, a 1080 by 920. But I'm going to go back and scroll over. So we're going to click this over here, 1920 by 1080 YouTube landscape. Now it's time for us to add content. You can upload your own content video clips or audio if you have it saved on your folder and you would like to use it. You will click upload, then you click upload again, and you will select the file that you would like to use or files if you have multiple files. And you'll click upload and it will automatically be saved over here until you're ready to use them. But well, since I don't have any content I'm going to use, I'm going to find some in Canva and I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to be clicking on element over here on the left tab. On the element, I'm going to scroll down until I see video, which is over here. And then I'm going to click see all. In Canva, I love the fact that there's so many categories that you can work with. So there's such a wide variety of stock photos and videos that you can use which makes it great since I'm showing you how to create a professional slash motivational video. For my first scene, I think I'm going to do a, a CT time-lapse uh, video for my introduction. So I'm going to scroll down to the time-lapse section. I'm going to click see all and scroll down to find one that I think fits what I'm looking for. This one looks good. So I'm going to click this one over here. This one looks perfect. So I'm going to go to expand it and make it fit the frame. You notice that this clip is a bit long, but there are two ways I can trim the clip. One way is by right clicking on the clip and clicking split page. And you automatically notice that it has split and you would just pretty much be deleting the portion that you don't want to use. Like I'll click this one and click delete. Or if this portion and then you click delete on it. And the other way you can trim the clip is by dragging this in and I'm going to drag it into about three seconds long. Now for our second scene, we're going to click add page. In the search bar, I think I'm going to type something like people working in an office for my next scene. I'm going to click this one over here in my recent. Now, if you're working with the Canva free version, I just want to see the free options. You would filter out the search over here by clicking this icon. You will want to select free. That way it will just show you only the free options and the free stock clips for Canva. Now, I think I'm gonna go with this one over here. I'm going to enlarge it and also trim it to three seconds. All right, for our next scene, we're going to click add page and in the search, 
I think I'm going to go with people shaking hands or people handshaking. And I think I'm going to go with this one over here. I'm going to expand it, fit it to the frame and also trim it to three seconds. In our next scene, we're going to click add page. And for this one, I think I'm going to go with an animated chart. So in the search bar, I'm going to type animated chart over here. Animated chart, I have it here. I'm going to click it in this. And I think I'm going to go with this one over here. I'm going to expand it like so to fit into the frame and also trim it to three seconds. For our next scene, we're going to go add a page. And for this one, I think I'm going to go with people writing in notebooks. I'm going to select this one over here. Going to expand it and fit it into frame like so. And also trim it to three seconds like this. Add a page for our next scene. And this time we'll be looking for some type of floating money or anything that has to do with finance. So I'm going to type in money over here. And this first stock clip over here is what I'm going to go with. You can have. This is perfect. I'm going to expand it, trim it. I think I'm going to do a few more. For the next scene, we're going to be looking for someone climbing a ladder. So in the search over here, we're going to type in climbing ladder. I'm going to click this one over here. And I'm going to click this first animation that pops up. I'm going to enlarge it, fit into the frame, and trim it to three seconds. Okay, so for our next scene, we're going to click add a page and I'm going to be searching for an animated brain. I think I'm going to go with this first one over here. Expand it, trim it to three seconds. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to click add a page again. And for this one, I want to search for people walking. I'm going to go with this clip over here. Expand it and trim it to three seconds. As you can see, we're currently at 27 seconds of the footage. So I think I'm going to go do one last one to complete it. And for this last one, I think I'm going to go to search for some type of city night view. I'm going to go with this one over here. Expand it. Fit into the frame and also trim it to three seconds. So I'm just going to do a quick run through to see how everything looks. Okay. All right, so we have 30 seconds of footage and now we're going to add a voiceover. So I'm going to show you how to do that. For the voiceovers on this left tab over here, you're going to scroll down until you see audio. And click on audio over here. Now you can record your voice over live and you can also generate an AI voice. You can also add soundtracks over here, but for this specific video over here, I'll be adding a generated AI voice by clicking this one over here. See that? And this is where you insert your script that you have for the voice over. As you can see, there's two options with the crown. That means it's only for Canva Pro and you cannot use them if you're working with a free version, but you do have this two to select from Lisa and Ralph. So now that I have my script, I'm going to paste it into here. And for this specific video, since it's all things free again, I'm going to go select Ralph. And I'm also going to click Generate AI Voice. As you can see, the voiceover is a bit longer than my timeline. So I do have room to add two more clips if I want to extend the video to match. Um, and I think I'm going to do just that. Right? So I'm going to go back to Elements. I'm going to search for just two random clips, maybe some in my recent. So I'll click on this blank screen over here. And I'm going to add this one, expand it and fit it into the frame and also trim it to three seconds. I think this last one fits perfectly because it matches the voiceover. Now I'm just going to move this clip somewhere in the middle, maybe in between here. Now we're going to add text to our video, mainly for the introduction, just to show you how. So we're going to click on the left tab over here. This text icon, we're going to go click add a heading. 
and I'm going to type all caps SUCCESS101. I'm going to change the font color to white by clicking this A over here and selecting white. I'm going to expand the font. You can do so by dragging it. You can increase the plus sign over here. I want to look for something more bold by changing the font over here. Scroll down. I think I'm going to do this archival black. Yeah, this, this looks good. I'm going to leave it here. If you do not name your file, you can do so over here for your font. Let's say you wanted to add effect or animation. For effect, you would click here, like so, and go through any of this to see which one works for you. If you wanted to add animation, you will click on animate over here, and you can select any one of these options. I think I'm going to leave it on typewriter. Looks good. And next it out, if you wanted to add any transitions, you would click over here, this icon here, and you can look through to see which one works for your video. You can add them all in between all the clips or every other clip. I think I'm just going to do dissolve all the first clip just to show you. We pretty much completed this video within minutes. And this video skill is great to enhance for your presentation skills. And it's also great if you wanted to create a motivational video like this one as well. I'm going to show you how to save your video. You're going to click share. You want to click download. And you want to make sure that it's MP4 video. And you're going to click download again and it should automatically get saved to your downloads folder that's how you can ac access it now let's watch the final result of what we could success doesn't come overnight it's built one decision at a time every choice you make today shapes the life you'll live tomorrow in business challenges aren't obstacles they're opportunities every setback teaches a lesson every risk can lead to growth stay disciplined stay focused keep learning financial freedom isn't a dream it's the result of consistent action and smart decisions remember the people who succeed aren't the luckiest they're the ones who plan execute and never quit there and that's it i hope this video inspired you to start creating your own content with confidence don't forget to like subscribe and join our queens with vibes community for more tutorials and creator tips